world, world massive. Well, like I was telling you, like I was telling you that we're gonna be talking to the man there. Man all the way from Azania, South Africa. That the man there, man like a maverick Mavor. Maverick Mavor. He's the man we're gonna be talking to today. Uh, there is a lot he needs to tell us, uh, Maverick Mavo. We got to know him better. So I'm just edging you. I'm just edging you to be right there. I'm just edging you to stick around and enjoy our chat right here. Me, myself, and I, alongside the man there, Marvin Maverick Mavo. Coming up very, very soon. Looks like we have him ready right now. Greetings, greetings, Maverick Marvel. Greetings, greetings, brother man. Greetings, greetings. Yeah. Greetings to the masses as well. Yeah, to all your listeners as well. I wish I can say it in your own language, saying hi, 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 but I don't know how to. Yeah, we say Molibwanji, you know. Molibwanji. Yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> okay, Molibwanji, brothers and sisters. Yeah, man, yeah, man. It's, 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 it's as easy as that, you know, or you just say money, you know. Okay, money. All yeah. right. No, I won't forget. Yeah, man. So when you come here, just say that money, money, or oh, muli wanji. You understand? Uh, that means uh, yes, sir. Yes, yeah. Sir. It simply means greetings. Yeah. It simply means greetings. You know. Yeah. We we we, we right. yeah. We happy to have you here, Maverick. Uh, we happy to have you uh, inside our show. Um, of course, uh, we've been playing uh, some of your music in this show. People are getting to know you a little by little, but I know. Uh, they will know you. So, just just for a start, can you can you start by telling us a bit about your uh, musical background, uh, who is Maverick Marvel, and uh, how you started uh, all this thing? Okay, hey, Maverick Marvel is an artist in the true sense of an artist, you know. Yeah, but musically, I started way back, way back, brother man, from primary school. You know, was after 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 school, man. They tend to be the girls that are cleaning the classes, that are sweeping. So, so I was one of the boys that used to remain behind and sing for the girls. <laughs> that's an excited one, there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because. I didn't have an audience, you know, so I wanted to have an audience. Yeah, man. So, so while they're busy sweeping the classes, then I will sing for them. But, but uh, today it's called freestyle. I didn't know what it was then, but I was just singing anything that comes to mind, my own stuff and my own stuff and all. So I started from primary to do my own songs. Yeah, early eighties, and then switch to guitar because I was fascinated by the strumming, the reggae strumming. Same, same, same. Yeah, yeah, so reggae was the music that was surrounding me all the time. Remember that time in South Africa we were busy fighting against apartheid. So the only music that was feeding the people, making people conscious was reggae. So I grew up surrounded by roots. Same, same, same. Because uh, uh, on that one there, many people don't don't regard south africa as a as a reggae country a lot of music that's coming from south africa you know is the ama piano kind of music before we go any further can you can, can, can you tell tell me and the people listening to us right now how big is the mm. is the reggae dancehall scene in south africa it is big but not as big as uh the as, as during the lucky tube time See? So, because after like it, it, it kind of fades, but now we're busy, you know, building it up again. So, there's these youth that are doing the dance hall, and then there is us that are still in the roots. Because we don't know dance hall. We grew up in roots, so we're sticking to roots. 
So we are reggae, it, it wants to die, but it's not dying because we are reliving it. See, and that's that's good. By all know? means. Yeah, it's, it's good to know that uh, there are people there. Uh, people like you, you know, I, I know several uh, reggae artists from South Africa, uh, uh, the likes of a uh, Skeleton Blazer, uh, the likes of uh, uh, Mr. Lamington, uh, you know, there, there, there are a lot of uh, uh, reggae yeah, artists. Yes, yeah, there are a lot mm. of reggae artists uh, uh, that I know coming from uh, from South Africa. Now let's let's get into into some issues right here for, for the people. Uh, who don't know you how would you describe your your music especially to someone uh, who has never heard it before you know uh, telling them right now how how would you describe your uh, your music your your, your reggae re- reggae style it's 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 roots reggae seen blended with uh, african sounds yeah man because i can't run away. i'm an african i can't run away from being africa because uh, okay I also, as a musician, I also played bass guitar, you know? so I played for various genres, for various bands. So you have that influence in my music. You have you have uh, the Afro influence in it. You have the Jay Z type of a thing, but you can tell this is roots. Yeah, man. And then I blend it with my mother tongue. So my mother tongue, which is Xhosa, the second language, largest language in South Africa, which is more or less close to Swahili and there are and there are some words of your language that I do understand which mean which I think they mean the same thing so my mother tongue on top of roots rock reggae mm-hmm. makes it more African so my music is uh you don't really have to understand it it's about feeling it if you feel it then you will know what is it all about because I talk about love I talk about appreciating who we are as Africans I talk about when you look at yourself in the mirror every day look at yourself and say wow I'm a beautiful African that uh-huh. is me same 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 uh, yeah. now now uh, l- l- let's talk about uh, s- some some of the key influences or some some of the artists uh, that have shaped your sound you, you mind telling us that <laughs> okay like i said i'm a roots person eh? so uh i grew up listening to Ben spear then bunny whaler culture so then to poetry or lkj or muta baruka that is me yeah man you find me I'll, yeah you find me there Same. i'm there so in, in, in a sense that in some of my songs you can you, you you can really tell that this person used to listen to Joseph he used to listen to you know Panuela and all so yeah that's me I'm a roots person nice so put me into roots then I'm I'm fine I live there I all stay there all right man okay I, I, actually it's 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 really really roots roots music uh, from you I've been listening to your music ever since you sent me the music uh it's 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 mm. roots music you know roots to the core real roots reggae radix real roots reggae music that's uh that's what you're doing